cross is given, Jesus Christ, His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. <coughs> let the poor say, I am rich. Because he's given us his Son, yes. oh, His Son, give thanks, give thanks. Amen, amen. Amen. Give you, thanks Lord. with a grateful heart. Amen. You know, sometimes we say, oh, I just thank the Lord. He's just been so good. And deep down inside, there is something in us that wants something different. Today, I'm going to bring a message about how that's going to cost us in the long run. Do we realize that we're going to give an account? For all the decisions and opportunities we had. And we went a different way because it was easier. You know, it's a lot easier to swim downstream than it is to swim upstream. Amen. But God's called us to a life, not of ease, but a life that's full of challenges. Amen. Full of difficulties. Why? Because if we lean on Jesus, we become stronger in our faith in Him. And we get to know Him better. Amen. I want to thank you all for listening today. Pastor Nikki had a little trouble choking a little bit. But, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, what a privilege it is to be together today. Uh, I'm thinking of of how blessed that Pastor Nikki and I are. We have many wonderful brothers and sisters on this mountain. And uh, I especially want to thank uh, Sister Merlene Cantrell. She's going to be having some arts and crafts for the children in the uh, youth building. Today, Brother Randolph Cantrell, my brother, yes, my brother. He came and he's going to be putting some shelves and different cabinets in the youth building. And I just want to thank God. <clears throat> you know, sometimes uh, we try to do it all, don't we? <laughs> sometimes. And I, you know what? If you don't step back and get out of the way, then whenever something happens to you, there's nobody there That's right. to fill in. And I tell you with all my heart, when I leave this world, I'm praying that there will be a body of Christ at Indian Medis Fellowship Church that will go on strong and that for many years after I've gone to be with the Lord, that our church will still be going, the youth building, and and that God will get the glory. Amen. <clears throat> Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Yes. Let's shake it off. If there's anything bothering us today, Amen. Amen. Let's shake it off. And let's let let go and let God have his way. Amen. With our good news today. Yes. You know, yesterday we was in a different place, wasn't we? Yes. And uh down at it, the bridge in Alderson. Down at the bridge in Alderson at the Greenbrier <laughs> River. I thank the Lord for the time that he's given us to be in a place that I love 
and a place where I really have peace. Amen. And uh, no strife and no power grabs. Amen. <laughs> no one wanting to step on top of each other and get ahead. No. I tell you, we might get ahead by using other people in this life, but wait until you stand before Jesus. That's right. And think of all the blessings you miss in this life. Mm. But I want to tell you, if your heart's troubled today, let's give it to the Lord. Amen. And let's remember, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. I'm going to say a prayer. <laughs> oh, I thought you did. And uh, <laughs> so let's go to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Our Creator our Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come to you in Jesus' name, thanking you for this opportunity today. And I've just been so happy today to see people working in the church and people stepping up to the plate to uh, see that God's work and God's building is taken care of and the grounds. We thank you for Sister Jo Ellen with all the flowers and all the things she does to make the plants look beautiful and Sister Merlene uh, cleaning the church and making sure it's so nice when we have our services and now she's stepped up and taking care of the youth building. I pray you'd bless her today, Lord, as she meets with our young people to do some arts and crafts. And I pray for those that are suffering today. I'm just thinking, Lord, <clears throat> how that there's a small, uh, not a nursing home, but just a uh, rest home, how that 10 out of 14 residents has the COVID. And I think there's two or four out of the six staff that has COVID, and three have passed away right up here in these Blue Ridge Mountains, Lord. Oh, God, I pray. I pray for those precious, innocent people that you would protect them from people bringing the COVID in and giving it to them. And I pray, God, the staff will be extra careful yes. when they come into the home to take care of the residents, that they do the things that would uh, keep the residents from uh, getting that horrible, horrible COVID. Lord, I pray for all the health care workers that's doing their job, and I pray, God, for for just all of our nursing home people. Yeah. I pray for our mountain up here at Indian Meadows, God, for the lost. And Lord, I pray today's message, oh, that it would go penetrate deep into our heart and our spirit, and we can see the danger of taking you for granted. Amen. Oh, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for an empty tomb. Thank you for wrapping yourself with flesh. And coming through a virgin's womb to be that precious sacrifice. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Right now, we give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> All right, this wonderful song. There's some people in the church up here that love this song. Jesus is coming soon. Ha, ha. Trouble sometimes are here, filling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear, now is at stake. Open your heart to God, safe from the chastening rod. Seek the way pilgrims trot, Christians away. Wake up! Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom. Drop us 
will sound do, 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 do. All of the dead shall rise Righteous meet in the skies Going where no one dies Heavenward bound Heavenward bound Love of so many Cold Losing their home of gold Blessing God's word Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon, many will meet there too, trumpets will sound, do -do 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 -do. all of the dead shall rise, righteous meet in the skies, we're going where no one Dies. We're heavenward bound. We're heavenward bound. Troubles will soon <coughs> be or happy forevermore. When we meet on that shore, we're free from all care. We're free from all care. Rising up in the sky, telling this world. Goodbye. Homeward we then will fly. Glory to share. His glory to share. Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom. Trumpets will sound. Do -do 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 -do. All of the dead shall rise, righteous meet in the skies, going where no one dies, heavenward bound. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. will sound do -do 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 -do. all of the dead shall rise righteous meet in the skies going where no one dies heavenward bound we're heavenward bound I know that I'm heavenward bound. Amen. I think about it every day. How that God's let me live longer. My dear mother was 61 when the Lord took her home. My daddy was 74. And here I am turning 77. Just a few and God, <laughs> God has given me new knees. Working on my eyes. Yes. Next Wednesday, they'll be operating on my right eye. And I just want to thank the Lord. I want to thank the Lord that he's been so good to me. Amen. Oh, yes, he has. Me too. Yes, he has. Before I bring the word, I just want to... Enter into his courts with thanksgiving. And praise. Jesus, I just want to thank you. just want to thank you. Oh, Jesus. 
Jesus, I just want to thank you. Thank you for being so good to me. Now, Lord, please accept the words from my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Yes, Lord. God, may it be pleasing and acceptable unto Thee. Yes, Lord. Jesus, I just want to love You. Oh, my Jesus, I just want to love Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. I just want, oh, I want to love you. Love you for being so I love you with all my heart. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Today I want to really be speaking to the unbeliever and also to the ones that have tasted and seen the glory of Jesus and went back into the world or the ones that are just playing like it's a game with God. Yes. You lose because God is not going to play games. Eternity is forever and there's a heaven and there's a hell, a heaven to gain, a hell to shine. What would you give in exchange for your soul? How much are you? I'm talking to you. How much are you worth? I tell you, you're priceless. Amen. I tell you, the Son of God stepped down from His throne. And come through a virgin's womb as a baby, a helpless baby, grew up to be a man, lived a perfect, sinless life, yes. so that he could be the perfect sacrifice. By man, sin entered into the world, and by the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of sins, a new birth is possible. So today I'm going to be talking to two people. The person that's not saved, the person that's heard the gospel over and over, the person that has closed their heart up to the gospel because they have believed a lie that the, the things of this world is more pleasurable than a walk with our Creator. They have believed a lie and they are damned for eternal destruction. And for the believer that's on and off, hot one day, cold the next, lukewarm the next, Full of, full of just uh, uh, joy. And then the next day they're empty. Because they're trying to walk in the world and to walk with God. Can't do it. The old Chinese proverb, 
he who walks with one foot on one side of the fence and one on the other splits his pants. So I want to go to the book of 2 Thessalonians and read a few verses today. Oh, no, I didn't come to have the good news and to holler and tell you how bad you are. No, no, no. No. You know whether you're walking with the Lord or not. But it is my job to put the gospel of Jesus Christ out there and whosoever will, let them come and be saved from a devil's hell. Amen. That whosoever will, will find pleasure in being a Christian. That will find pleasure in walking with the Lord, talking with the Lord, watching the glory of God just manifested through people that are willing to walk with Him and trust Him. Paul wrote about how the wicked is going to be revealed. You see, some people think they can get away with doing somebody wrong. Or they have used someone for a personal gain. Or they have lied, stolen, cheated. They think they can get away with it, but it's all written down. You'll either pay now or pay later or maybe pay both ways. Amen. The wicked will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Jesus is coming. Yes. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. I started at the 8th verse. Now I'm going down to 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they received not the Son of the truth, the love of the truth, that they might be saved. I mean, it's out here for you and me. And I don't care who you are. If you're watching me today, you've heard the truth. You've heard that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. You've heard it. And some of us have heard it hundreds, maybe even thousands of times. But it says here, they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion mm -mm. that they should believe a lie. Would God do that? Yes. You know... Even God will draw a line in the sand. That's right. And when we cross that line, there's no coming back. Mm -hmm. And I tell you how you, you might say, well, how then? I've done so much wrong. How then can I come back to God? If you feel Him tugging at your heart, I'm telling you, my friend, you better come while you feel the call. Yes. You better come while you fear, feel the Father drawing you to be saved. Because the Bible says God shall send them a strong delusion. Do you see the strong delusion that's in our country today? Can you see the strong delusion that's in the world today where people are calling good evil and evil good? Where Satan has... has come in and people they have a strong delusion they want to destroy everything that's good they want to change everything that people has laid down their life for yeah. and they believe a lie they think things can be better without God they say separation of the 
church and state. I say no. I believe God needs to be in our government. I believe we need strong believers in Jesus Christ making important decisions for all of us. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. I look around and see the immorality today and how that there's no shame. How that they, they take pleasure in unrighteousness. And they, they say that what's in this word that God says is an abomination. They say that's just old and that was back for that time. No, when God calls something an abomination, you better pay attention. There's no gray area. You know, we read about, you know, women shouldn't cut their hair. We read about women, you know, they, they're not supposed to wear jewelry or pants. And, and uh, women should keep their mouths shut in church and we all this doctrine that's doctrine but when god says something is a sin it's a sin that's right there's no gray area we have so many denominations with their doctrine because there are some things in the bible that is a gray area but when god calls sin sin and he names it Uncleanness, oh, fornication, adultery, immorality. When he says that is a sin, it's a sin. And people can continue on in that for so long to where now it's being accepted as the normal. You cannot accept sin as the normal. Sin is sin. Sin brings death, and death brings hell forever oh. and ever and ever. Oh my. <coughs> I'm saying you can dabble in something so long to where you don't have a conscience, and the Spirit of God, the Bible says, will not always strive with a person. That's right. There'll come a time when we'll have the delusion that everything that we do is all right. That God is a good God and would not punish anyone. God would not send anyone to hell. You go ahead and believe that lie. I tell you, eternity is forever. Mm -mm -mm. And once we draw our last breath, I want to say this with all the love in my heart. You ain't got no more chances to make it right. And when you ha have a strong delusion, then you're not going to be drawn by the Father. You're not going to feel the Spirit calling you to come to Jesus and let Him change your life because you have a delusion that you're okay. Oh, I please, I beg of you today. You read Second Thessalonians, second chapter. Just take the second chapter. And if that don't show you there's a right way and there's a wrong way, there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end is destruction thereof. Mm, yes. Oh, please, please, please. You know, I, I've, got, I've got quite a few enemies, and I've had a lot of people, a lot of people that have played games. They've hurt Pastor Nicky and myself. There's people that's used us. There's people that's lied on us. There's people that have done everything to, to just take over our lives. I don't want them to go to hell. No. I don't want the worst person in the world to go to hell. But as sure as I'm standing here today, there'll be some to watch this 
that God has dealt with you so long and you've refused and you have walked on the blood of Jesus for the last time and God sent a delusion and you think you're okay. Oh, please, if you feel God tugging at your heartstrings right now, it listen, now's the acceptable time. Right now, give up. Throw up your hands and cry out to Jesus to save you. Cry out that you believe He can forgive your sins. Cry out that He can send, the Father can send, and Jesus can send the Holy Ghost to live in you and help you make it home. Amen. Would you come today? Yes. Would you come?